ways that we can to brief you as members of the media, as observers. Yeah, well, Zek lighted a tender for the procurement of biometric voter registration kits in the local press for use during the national voter registration exercise to be conducted in preparation for next year's harmonized elections. The tender was officially closed and electronically opened on 17 January 2017 at 1600 hours at the UNDP offices in Copenhagen. Initially, 51 companies had shown interest, but only 12 companies had submitted their bids by closing time. The bid opening was witnessed in this very courtroom via a wall screen and proscribed by the commissioners, secretariat, staff, UNDP representatives, stakeholders, and local representatives of the bidders. The UNDP had mobilized resources for the procurement of the BDR kits in line with the agreement it entered into with the government of Zimbabwe through the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission Capacity Building Project, Zim Echo Project. The government later indicated that it had secured funding for the process and the rest is now history. The leaders were evaluated by a joint team of SEC and UNDP representatives, and three of them emerged as the best contenders. The selection criteria were based on technical compliance of the gadgets to required specifications and pricing. The best three bidders were invited to a site validation test. These are Luxton Group Limited, a company from China, Zets from Belgium, but they later withdrew their participation, Demalog Identification Systems from Germany. This is the stage at which we are now, and the process is still underway. Our invitation to you to observe this important stage is part of the sex initiative to ensure stakeholder participation in its activities and to enhance transparency in all its electoral processes. You will therefore be able to witness presentations by the two bidders who have come forward and also observe the site validation tests of their respective kits to assess whether they are fit for purpose. The actual site validation process starts tomorrow, 21 April 2017, and ends on 26 April 2017. The Deputy Chief Elections Officer responsible for operations, Mr. Slybana, will give you copies of the detailed program <coughs> outlined immediately after this presentation. You are welcome to observe any activities which are open to observers as indicated on the program. You are, however, not to interfere with any of the processes. Please note that no questions or interviews are to be made with those assigned to carry out specific tasks during these tests. As observers, you will be expected to make written recommendations to SEC after the test. Your recommendations will assist SEC in making a decision on the award of the tender. Each bidder has three kits. This ensures that there is adequate backup in case the other two suffer malfunction. The test shall be in two forms, namely laboratory and field tests. During the laboratory tests, conformity to supplied specifications, which include those of the laptop, the webcam, light source, 
photo background material, fingerprint scanner, thermal printer, and solar power kit, among others, will be under scrutiny. The field tests will enter earlier involve testing the durability of the equipment, resistance to weather elements, processing speed, battery performance, efficiency of the webcam, lighting and fingerprint scanner. The field tests will be conducted at Mavuku High School in Arare on 24 April 2017 and at Murape Secondary School in Seke area on 25 April 2017 between 8.30 hours and 1600 hours. Each school has been requested to provide 150 pupils below the age of 18 for a mock BBL exercise. In addition to the mock voter registration exercise, shock and waterproof tests will be conducted on the kids on 26 April 2017 at ZEC head office between 8.15 hours and 1100 hours. Let me conclude by thanking you all for accepting our invitation to witness this milestone in our country's electoral history. I thank you.